good morning guys welcome to my channel my name is Harold I am a nurse and a vlogger based here in Dublin Ireland so if bago ka dito sa channel ko please naman don't forget to click the subscribe button and tap the bell para naman manotify ka if I will be making more videos in the future we all know the fact guys that in the Philippines we are trained to speak on an American English but if you want to travel or to work here in Ireland my difference when it comes to language that they are using so in this vlog guys yan ang pag-uusapan natin so stay tuned but before that one let's roll the intro I came to Ireland back in 2016 and I'm telling you guys, it was not that easy kasi yung mga words na ginagamit natin back home is a bit different ng ginagamit nila dito. So it was really a big adjustment for me but you know, Filipinos are really good in you know adjusting to whatever is around us. So today guys, pag-uusapan natin ang 10 common words that Irish people are using. Number one, in the Philippines, we use the word elevator, right? But here in Ireland, they use the word lift. So for example, if you're in the shop and then pupunta ka dito and then someone will tell you, take the lift, that means that's the elevator. Number two guys is there is a difference on the way we tell our time to Irish people tell their time. For example, sa Pilipinas, if may nagtanong sa'yo na, anong oras na ba? You will say, it's 4.30 in the afternoon or 5.30 in the evening or 6 o'clock in the morning. But here guys, they have a different way of telling the times. So for example, if someone will ask you, hey Harold, what time is it? You can say, it's half past four. Okay, or you can say it's quarter past four, it's ten to six, or it's ten to eleven, you know, um, parang ganyan. So that's the way how to tell time here. So when I first came in, actually, when they asked me what time is it, I said, it's 4.30 in the, in the afternoon. So like, what? So parang, yeah, that's a point for you. And the third one is, um, it's a very common word, you know, we use the word thank you in the Philippines, like all the time. But here they use the word cheers. So... Um, for example, if someone appreciates you, they will say like, oh, cheers, Harold, something like that. Because in the Philippines, when they say cheers, ginagamit lang natin ito pag kumiinom tayo, di ba? Cheers! Get on! But dito, guys, it's a way of saying thank you. Like, cheers, everyone. Thank you for coming. Number four common word is the faucet or yung gripo. In the Philippines, we use the word faucet, but here, guys, they use the word tap. Um, and the good thing guys is here in Ireland pala, um, water is for free so tap water is free you can turn on the tap or turn off the tap is that right but anyway tap means faucet now let's talk about clothes yung mga ganito now in the Philippines we use we use the word sweater we use the word t-shirt and we use the word sando yung mga ganon right or yeah we use the word um, pants if we talk about pantalon but here guys they have a different way of saying it again so sweater they call that one your jumper so when you go to the shop and then you will ask uh, where can i find good sweaters they will actually ask like sorry but if you will say or tell them um, where can i find jumpers then they will tell you oh you can go right there you go to your left you take the lift and there you go and for pants guys they use the word trousers and then it's a t-shirt they call that one your vest so yeah not too bad and for example guys if you are going to go to a shop or a store and then you will pay for for your um, items that you buy the bus atin we call them cashier but here guys they call it till okay, you can go to till number one parang ganon. in the philippines guys we use the word french fries if, for example you will go to mcdonald's but here they use the word chips so that's why they have the words fish and chips that means it's a fish and a fries and also a very common greeting here in ireland in the philippines we say for example like how are you harold that's the way how we say it but here guys it's a bit different they will say 
How is it going? Oh, the bus so shall. <laughs> so, Yun, um, if ever you come to Ireland and you met someone just outside the door and they will ask you, like, because basically, guys, um, Irish are friendly people. So, if you're just on the streets or in the shops, they will tell you, How is it going? You can say, I'm good. Everything is fine. Diba. Going. In the Philippines, we are fond also of using um, let me know, for example, right? if, if you inquire something and then you want a feedback, uh, you will say like, okay, please let me know. But here, guys, it's a bit different. They will say, give me a shout. So, yeah, Harold, give me a shout when you're ready. That means let me know. Iba talaga ang Ireland guys. Napakahirap. <laughs> Last but not the least that I can share to you is if you're working here in Ireland, in the Philippines, we call that one schedule or schedule. Okay, but here guys, they call that one your off duty or off duty book. So if you're working and then you want to know what days you're off and you want to ask an Irish, you can ask, oh, where is our off duty book? That means the schedule or the roster. So yun guys, those are just one of the small or common words that Irish people are using in their daily lives that you can learn so that when you come here in the future at least when they when you encounter those words alam mo na ang ibig sabihin mo so anyway guys thank you so much for watching um, I hope you learned something about that little info vlog about you know words that you need to know when you come to Ireland so hopefully when you come to Ireland soon you'll you will have a bit of confidence and if you want more of that guys um, please comment down below and then um, let me know your thoughts and let me know what are the other things that you want to know about Ireland so thank you so much for watching guys again if you are new to my channel don't forget to click the subscribe button and tap the bell para naman you will be updated if I'll be making more videos in the future so that's it this is Harold thank you so much have a good day God bless.